When it comes to hair and skincare, I try to keep the products I use to a minimum, mainly because I don't like spending too much time getting ready in the mornings. I make my own body butter for winter to help with dry skin, a natural moisturiser for everyday use, as well as herbal lip balms and salves for cuts and scrapes. Nourishing oils are usually enough for cleansing my skin, and beyond that, I keep an all-natural simple liquid castile soap for everything else. There's not a whole lot I buy from the beauty care aisle at the shops, except for shampoo. I've read posts about others who raved about giving up shampoo and who loved the no poo method for their hair, but with my naturally oily hair and my previous experience dabbling in this method, it just hasn't worked for me. I've tried it, and several weeks in, my hair was still slicked back with oil and glued down to my head. Really not a great look. For the past few years, I've been using a natural shampoo bar that I buy from the store that I really like, but the only problem is it's pretty expensive. I've been searching for quite a while, looking for an alternative to switch this last commercial product out of my bathroom and transition to all homemade. When I discovered this natural herbal shampoo recipe, I thought I'd just trial it out and see how effective it would be on my hair. It ended up doing wonders and I loved how customizable it was and how I could change up the herbs depending on the benefits I wanted for my hair. This herbal shampoo recipe is non-toxic, moisturizing, smells and feels great and is super easy to make. I prefer to store the shampoo in the fridge between uses as with no preservatives added to this recipe to make the shampoo shelf stable, I don't like to risk it going off too quickly, especially as I live in quite a warm climate. So to maximise its freshness, I keep it cold. It stores well for one month or more in the refrigerator. The base for this herbal shampoo recipe is a simple liquid castile soap. I like to buy Dr Bronner's unscented liquid castile soap as it infuses beautifully with the herbs and is thin and easy to strain. To this simple soap base, I add a bit of infused coconut milk and a herbal tea made from chamomile, nettle, rosemary and calendula. This tea blend is completely customizable, so you can choose the herbs that suit your particular skin or hair type best, but the herbs I've included are great choices for most hair types. Each herb will come with its own benefits. Rosemary is a wonderful herb to include as it can help stimulate hair growth. Nettle can help with hair nourishment and remineralization as it is rich in sulfur and silica. Chamomile is a great anti-itch remedy for the scalp as it can help soothe symptoms of dandruff. Calendula is a wonderful all-round herb for nourishing the skin on your scalp, while either argan oil or jojoba oil are perfect for conditioning hair without leaving it looking oily or feeling greasy. I infuse the coconut milk with lemongrass in this recipe, but it does not have to be infused for this shampoo recipe to work. The herbs are just an added bonus and give this shampoo a little something extra. To make this herbal shampoo, Start by placing two tablespoons each of dried chamomile, calendula, nettle and rosemary into a medium sized saucepan along with one cup of water and stir to combine. Bring the water to a boil, then remove the pan from heat and allow the tea to steep, covered, until the mixture reaches room temperature, which may take around 20 to 30 minutes. Strain out the tea using a fine mesh sieve or nut milk bag and compost the herbs. Add two cups of coconut milk and two thirds of a cup of dried lemongrass to a small saucepan and gently heat on medium low temperature for 20 minutes covered. Remove the coconut milk concoction from heat and allow it to cool to room temperature, which may take around 20 to 30 minutes also. Strain out the lemongrass from the coconut milk using a nut milk bag or cheesecloth, then compost the herbs. In a large glass pump bottle that you'll be using to dispense the shampoo, Add in the infused coconut milk, herbal tea, half a cup of castile soap, and a quarter of a teaspoon of argan oil if using. Then cap the lid and shake the bottle gently to combine the ingredients. Store this herbal shampoo in an airtight container for up to one month in the fridge. This shampoo may thicken a little in the cool temperature. If so, simply let it warm up in the hot water of the shower before using. Make sure to shake the bottle well before each use as the ingredients can separate. 
and that is how to make a natural herbal shampoo at home. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you try this recipe out yourself and what you think. I'd love to know. I wish you a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. I send you all my love and I'll see you soon again.